Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic carbon and its compounds. And today we will be looking at the Solvay process. So we are going to go to the details of the Solvay process and then we will do just one question in regards to the Solvay process. So remember Solvay process is used in the manufacture of sodium carbonate. So look at the steps uh, one by one as you go through it and make sure you're able to understand. So the Solvay process, uh, when you look at the Solvay process, remember we are manufacturing sodium carbonate and the raw materials for this process is sodium chloride, we have calcium carbonate, we have coke and we have ammonia. So you can be asked to mention the raw materials for this reaction. So make sure that you can be able to remember these raw materials for this reaction. And these materials are usually very locally available and they are also cheap. When you look at the Solvay process, it, we have some major processes. One of the processes happens in the absorber, ammonia absorber. So this is where we combine uh, ammonia and brine and then we have the carbonator or carbon where uh, or carbonation tower this is now where we mix the carbon four oxide brine and ammonia or ammonico brine and then a reaction occurs we're going to go to the details of the reaction in a minute and then uh, the products are taken to the filter, filter, filters and undergo a process called filtration. And then there's those two products are separated. We also have another section called the ammonia recovery tower, where ammonia is recovered and taken back to the ammonia absorber. And then we have the lime clean where the limestone is heated. And I want us to go now through the steps uh, one by one. So first of all, we said one of the raw materials is brine. Another raw material is ammonia as well. So these are fed into the ammonia absorber and we form ammonical brine. And then the ammonical brine is uh, then the ammonical brine is fed into the Carbon, carbonator or where carbonation happens. So in the carbonator or carbonation tower, the ammonical brine reacts with carbon four oxide. And in this reaction, it occurs two equations are formed or two reactions occur simultaneously. First of all, there is the formation of ammonium uh, hydrogen carbonate. So let's write uh, the equation. So we said it's ammonia gas that reacts with carbon four oxide gas. And remember also water is added in this reaction. So this reaction causes the formation of ammonium carbonate, ammonium hydrogen carbonate. And then uh, this ammonium hydrogen carbonate reacts with the brine, which is sodium chloride. And there is an interchange of ions. So it forms sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride. So this mixture of ammonium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride is the one that enters in the carbon in the filter in the filter for filtering. So this is a mixture that we have at the moment. So when it gets to the uh, filtration chamber where filtering occurs, we know that both sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride are soluble salts but they usually crystallize at different temperatures. So what happens, sodium hydrogen carbonate crystallizes first in the reaction. So it's the one that is separated as a residue. So then ammonium chloride is taken to the ammonia recovery tower, and then sodium hydrogen carbonate is taken to the clean. 
So I hope you have seen what has happened. So just a recap of what we have said. So we said that in the ammonia absorber, we are mixing ammonia and brine to form ammonical brine. This ammonical brine is a mixture of ammonia and sodium chloride concentrated, and it's taken to the carbonation or a carbonator, where it reacts with carbon dioxide and also water to form ammonium hydrogen carbonate, which then reacts with sodium chloride or brine to form sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride. The ammonium chloride and sodium hydrogen carbonate is taken to the filter. When it's taken to the filter, sodium hydrogen carbonate crystallizes fast, it forms solid, so it's filtered as a residue. So whatever we are removing from the filter as solid state is a sodium hydrogen carbonate. Then ammonium chloride is taken into the ammonia recovery. So in the clean, where sodium hydrogen carbonate is taken, it's heated. So we are heating sodium hydrogen carbonate next. It's heated to form sodium carbonate plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. So we balance it and put a two here. So you remember this sodium carbonate is what we want as our final product from this process. The water is recycled back to the carbonator and also carbon dioxide is taken back to the carbonator. So we have already gotten our main product. So what happens to the ammonium chloride? So the ammonium chloride is taken to the recovery. That takes us back into the limestone where we are adding limestone into the system. So how do we use limestone in this process? Limestone is calcium carbonate. So limestone is heated to produce calcium oxide and carbon four oxide gas. So this equation is balanced. The carbon four oxide is recycled again. Then the carbon calcium oxide is reacted with water in the slaking chamber. So when it reacts with water in the slaking chamber, where it's mixed with water, it forms calcium hydroxide. This calcium hydroxide that is formed is taken to the ammonia recovery tower. So remember, we talked about what happened with sodium hydrogen carbonate. So we want to see what happened to the ammonium chloride. So the ammonium chloride reacts with calcium hydroxide formed in the slaker to form ammonia gas, to form water and calcium chloride. So the ammonia is taken back into the ammonia tower. You see we have recovered the ammonia because the system is called ammonia recovery. And also we see we have formed some water also, which is also used in the carbonator. We also have a byproduct called calcium chloride that is usually given off. So remember we have to balance this equation so that we can get the uh, it completely balanced. So you balance it by placing two in front of ammonium chloride and in front of ammonia to make our equation balanced. So we have a byproduct called calcium chloride. So let's see what we have at the end of the day. We have produced our sodium carbonate and also we have produced a calcium chloride. You notice we mentioned something to do with sodium hydrogen carbonate as well. So next, we are going to look at the uses of sodium hydrogen carbonate, sodium carbonate, and calcium chloride. So the sodium hydrogen carbonate can be used as a baking powder. It is used in the preservation of soft drinks. It is also used as a, a buffer agent and an antacid in hand more feeds. It is used in making dry chemical fire extinguishers. And then the sodium hydrogen carbonate we obtain from the solvate process is used in making glass, it is used in softening hard water, it is used in manufacturing surplus detergent, it is used in paper, paint, and textile industries, it is used to make borax and caustic, caustic soda, 
Then the calcium chloride that is that is produced as a byproduct is used as a drying agent. We know that we have been using it as a drying agent because it's a liquescent. It is also used for the icing icy roads. It helps uh, lowering the melting point of ice. And then it is also used in the extraction of sodium metal in the down cell. We are going to look at this down cell later on in form form. So let's tackle one question on the solvay process. So the flowchart below is for the manufacture of sodium carbonate by the solvay process. Use it to answer the questions that follow. So we have the brine. You can look at the flowchart. The brine, which is sodium chloride and uh, which mixes with the gas M to form ammonical brine. So this tells us brine is mixing with ammonia. So this tells us that this is ammonia. And then the ammonica brine is taken to tower P. This is the carbonator. And then in tower P, there is a reaction that occurs. So the ammonica brine reacts with sodium chloride and carbon four oxide and water, and the product is taken to the filter. So the product we form is the ammonium chloride and sodium hydrogen carbonate. And then in the filter, the sodium hydrogen carbonate is crystallized off as a solid. So whatever we are bringing this side is sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is heated in the clean to form sodium carbonate and also carbon four oxide is given off. Then the ammonium chloride is taken to the chamber K. But before we go to the chamber K, when you heat limestone, this, this arrow is supposed to be facing up. When you heat limestone, which is calcium carbonate, you produce calcium oxide, which is taken to chamber K. And chamber calcium oxide reacts with water to form calcium chloride, which is given off as the byproduct. And ammonia goes back into the um, ammonia tower. So that is the flowchart in short. Uh, so we are going to look at the questions so that we can be able to see what we are supposed to do. Name gas M and Q. So we said gas M is ammonia. And then gas Q is carbon four oxide. Uh, and then name solution F and solid X. So solution F is going to be, so let's look at where solution F is. Solution F is coming from the filter, filtering tower or from filtration. So solution F is going to be ammonium chloride. Because we said the other compound is ammon uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate, and you can see the final product is sodium carbonate. This tells us the, the other one is sodium, is ammonium uh, chloride. And then solid X is going to be sodium hydrogen carbonate. Name the product L formed and give its uses. So product L is calcium chloride. It is used in the icing, icy roads. It is also used in the extraction of sodium in down cell. We also said it can actually be used in lining of furnaces. And then finally, write the equations for the reactions in tower P. So basically, we have been told to write the two equations uh, for the formation of ammonium chloride and sodium hydrogen carbonate. So the first equation is going to be the ammonia reacts with carbon dioxide gas and water to form ammonium hydrogen carbonate so the ammonium hydrogen carbonate reacts with sodium chloride or the brine to form 
sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride. So those are the two equations. So that brings us to the end. I hope you have been able to understand the survey process. It's a, a common question in paper two. So make sure you're able to understand and also write the equation correctly. So see you in the next lesson.